Hello everyone, we have patch notes 1.99. So uh, first of all, we have a new Heroes of Asperia season. Uh, it'll be available to adventurers that have completed stage 11-40, so you need to be in chapter 12 in order to uh, compete in the Heroes of Asperia. We also have a new Isle of Gold event. Uh, it will feature the following updates. Added fort fortification, uh, where once a territory has a certain number of high-level buildings, it will trigger the effects of the fortifications and help the adventure defend against plundering. Uh, we've made some balance adjustments to some of the building effects. For specifics, please uh, refer to the game. So very nice, we're getting a, a new Isle of Gold season. Uh, added a new Beast Winged Lion. Adventurers can enter Beast Grounds to lure and capture them after completing stage 14-40. So uh, just like the other beasts that we've seen, uh, we need to uh, be in Chapter 15 in order to capture them. A uh, new Beast Winged Lion. Uh, added the Level Sweep feature to the Arcade Labyrinth, uh, which can be unlocked by adventurers after clearing stage 38-60. This feature can only be used for the first tile. Once tapped, the player will sweep multiple stages, reach the third stage's entrance, and receive the corresponding rewards. So adding Level Sweep to the Arcane Labyrinth. I've been looking for this feature for quite some time, giving us just a way to quickly go through the Arcane Labyrinth here and uh, you can unlock it uh, by reaching uh, chapter 39. Only used for the first tile though, so yeah, be, just be mindful of that. Uh, added stages 76 to 90 of the Force Mania and raise Adventures rewards up to 270 stars. Players can unlock it by completing stage 16-1. So uh, finally adding some more stages to the Force Mania. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of stages uh, for this for quite some time. It's definitely been quite a few months since we've added some stages there to the Force Mania. Add the event the Adventure Limestone Valley to the uh, Voyage of Wonders feature. So once again adding another Voyage of Wonder. Added a new chapter of the campaign, Chapter 53, uh, Sigh of Scholars. And reduce the difficulty uh, for certain stages of Chapter 52. So once again adding another chapter to the campaign. Already at 53 chapters there. New Misty Valley season is about to commence. The option baits has been added to some of the treasure trove's reward slots. So uh, they're giving us baits for some of the treasure trove rewards, which is very cool that they're adding uh, more resources to that. A glorified guild's adjustments and optimizations added the hunting fields page where adventurers can view the information on top teams from past hunting field seasons and receive honorable rewards. Uh, optimize the performance of the Abyssal Expedition page. So they're not only just having the Abyssal Expedition on the Glorified Guilds, but they're now adding the Hunting Fields uh, Guilds to the uh, Glorified Guilds. So the top uh, top Guilds in the Hunting Fields will now have a spot in the Glorified Guilds. Uh, after this update, we will be optimizing the brief descriptions of some hero skills. Progressively, adventurers can switch between the various skill interfaces to view this information. And we also have uh, battle adjustments and changes. Optimize the brief descriptions of some beast skills. Actual battle effects remain unchanged. Optimized and adjusted the effects of the relics, the angelic thorn, and the watchful eye from Arcane Labyrinth. For specifics, please uh, refer to the game. Uh, Scrag the Cunning fixed an anomaly where in some extreme situations, iron jaws were not cleared at the end of a battle. Actual battle effects remain unchanged. So just fixing something there with uh, Scrag, fixing an anomaly. And that looks to be about about it for that. I can't wait for all the uh, for all the events that they're adding. Like the the uh, Isle of Gold is a very popular event that they always add, and also the Heroes of Asperia is also a very popular event as well. Hey, if you made it this far into the video and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And also, I'll leave a video over there of my uh, Beast video if you want to learn more about the newly added Beast to AFK Arena. And thanks for watching.